two inch. Uh, Okay, I got my uh, AC motor working with two inch uh, wide, one inch thick neodymium magnets. They're north, south, north, south. Here's just a plain rotor. It's mounted to a rotoverter uh, shaft. Over here is the actual AC motor. It has a rotor with those four two inch uh, neodymium magnets inside there just like the other rotor and there's a plate of four coils here and four coils here the air coils uh, 116 feet of uh, 18 gauge wire here's the uh, four coils you can see them sticking out on one side and so there's a total of eight coils four on each side of the rotor it's mounted on a rotoverter, 7.5 horsepower rotoverter. Forget about all this inverter stuff here. So uh, I'll show you how it works now. Okay, so I have the. Uh, oh. Okay, here's a rotor with uh, no magnets in it, and so I put north, south, north, south here to represent think of these holes as the four big neodymium magnets. Here's the four coils that are on each side of the rotor. Here's north, south, north, south. So you wire them up, these two in series, these two in series. So you create one coil facing north this way, the other coil facing south this way, and then down here it's north this way, south this way. So these are like one coil, these are like one coil. Think of it like that because they're wired in series. Okay, so now look at this. Now, this is a north magnet, so there's north over here south over here so this is going to push this coil is going to push the magnet this way this magnet this coil is going to pull this north magnet this way because it's south so it's pull and push and look at this as you go around this is south so this is going to push this south magnet while this north pulls you get down here it's the same as on the top. It's a north against north push, south pull, south and south push, north and south pull, okay? So there's the first phase of the AC sine wave coming in like that. Now the sine wave is going to switch polarity. And I'll uh, switch the uh, co uh, polarity, the little pieces of tape with the polarity written on them. Okay, now imagine the second phase of the AC s signal. So now I've switched the polarity of this. It used to be north, it's south, used to be south, now it's north, used to be north, now it's south, used to be south, now it's north. So everything's flipped polarity because the sine wave uh, is going to work like that of the AC. Okay, now remember we had the north magnet on top for that first uh, phase. Now that's going to knock everything over and now it's going to line up right here for the next phase. Okay? And now look, we have a south push, north, south pull, north, north push, north, north, south pull all the way around. And so when it comes down to the next phase, these are going to slip polarity again. So I'll just do that real quick. Now it's going to be lined up like this. And again, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. So it goes all the way around like this is a four pole uh, rotor. And uh, the rotoverter motor is also a four pole uh, rotor in it. So the idea is you can make the rotoverter go at its sine wave speed, which happens to be 1800 RPM, and then you want to latch, unplug the rotoverter motor and plug this in, and it should run by itself, and it, and it is. 
I don't mean by itself, but the uh, AC motor will run off the grid and uh, work as an AC motor. Okay, same as any rotor or motor, you have a start cap and a run cap. I'm monitoring the amperage with this meter here that goes into it. It's important to know what the amperage is in order to get it to latch. Two other components to make it work is a 88 UF AC cap, a voltmeter, and a, a variac right here. So, here's what we do. Okay, first plug in the rotoverter motor with the start cap connected, get it going up to speed. Disconnect the start cap. Okay, uh, it's drawing uh, 0.44 amps. Uh, and I have the ammeter hooked up. And uh, now what we want to do is uh, connect the other, the actual AC motor here so it starts powering it and you'll know that when the amperage goes way down. So, so we'll do that next. Here's the AC hookup to the uh, AC motor right here. Two wires, red, red and yellow. One wire goes directly to the output of the uh, variac, which is plugged in, going to be plugged into the grid. And then the other wire, I have this AC cap, 88 UF, great big one, in uh, series on one of the lines. And I couldn't get it to work unless I did this.